Hello and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host Brian. We're going to wrap up this week with another Pride Month band, this one being Torsh. This band was suggested to me from Wow No 5763 for the track Sky Trials, which is what we're going to be checking out today. This comes off of the Harmonicraft album, which came out in 2012. This is yet another band that I have never even heard of before, although when I was trying to figure out the pronunciation for them, I did find out they come from Miami, not too far from where I live, which is pretty cool. Let's dive into this and see what Torsh is bringing to the table with Sky Trials. Oh, taking that same idea and bringing it down an octave. Oh, slight variation on it. Wonderful harmonies. Cool little chord percussion. We had that higher pitch guitar stuff over here. Little change up. There we go. Yeah, short and sweet, very simple. Comes in with full energy, totally driving right there. Uh, it's not even just the energy of the speed of it, which there's a lot of that, or the volume, which of course is a lot of that too, but even pitch-wise, we come in very strong with these high-pitched sounds, piercing through all of the noise presenting from the lower, regi the, well, the lower EQ'd elements of the guitar, the bass guitar, and even the drum. And the drummer is beating the garbage out of this drum kit. He's hitting it so hard too. And it's to match the intensity that the guitars are bringing to the table with this. Um, and so all this energy is just presented all the way through. We do have a little dip, which I think is well needed in the middle of the track. Um, you, you don't think that a minute and 18 seconds of anything is really a lot, but when you have something as intense as this, it's nice to bring it down, even if we only listen to it for 30 seconds, 40 seconds before we have that dip. At least to me, it was nice to have a little bit of a breather which is exactly what that second section brings in. We have the long held out harmonies from the vocals on top of the chord progression that we have on the guitars. We ditch the riffs for chords. Um, we do have some ornamental stuff that appears on the outsides of things, little uh, additional harmonic concepts going on. But uh, yeah, this is rather short lived, like 20 seconds maybe. And then we get right back into the driving riffs that we have from the beginning. Even within those driving riffs, I kind of skipped over this in our first and final sections of the track. There is contrast there as we have the initial riff that is pitched up here. We bring it down an octave. We do the riff again. We come back up to the higher one and we come back down to the pitch that we expect, but a different rhythm starting off of that pitch and a different riff entirely. I did like that variation on it, allowing the song to not just be bouncing back and forth between two ideas, but bouncing back and forth between three ideas in a way that feels linear, where we have idea one, then two, then one, then three. We do have a loop in there, but it is not a closed loop, that is to say. Um, and so we do have contrast within that high energy section, and then we have contrast overall with the song as we have our A, the high energy section, our B, the vocal bit, and then the A, the high energy section. I gotta talk about the production on this though, it is bonkers, there is so much compression going on in here, but it isn't done in a way that creates 
uh, a wall of fuzz throughout it, but there is this general raw sound to everything. I think a lot of it stems from the drums, which sound a bit dry to me. There doesn't to me, it doesn't sound like there's a lot of production put on the drums. So they sound like they still have a bit of the reverberance of the room that they were recorded in. And they sound like it's just exactly what the mic picks up without much in the way of EQing or compressing put on it. And that rawness affects everything. And it ends up feeling a bit, um, I don't want to say lesser produced, but definitely not overproduced. Um, in a way that almost makes it feel closer to like an indie metal <laughs> we have indie rock but we don't really have indie metal like that's not really a thing <laughs> but yeah it, it feels like uh i don't know that same sort of mid-fi production you would find in rock but whatever that equ uh, equal element would be a mid-fi metal production it gives it a bit of character is what I'm trying to say. It's not detracting in any way, but it did, it was something I immediately gravitated towards and thought about. Uh, it was quite apparent to me. And I just, again, it's character. There, I can't say I've really heard anything like it by the way that I've had to describe it based on things I have heard. Um, you know, it's a minute long song. I don't really have a lot to say about it. Let's hit some lyrics, the little that they were, and then I guess we're going to wrap this one up. I can't say that this makes a lot of sense to me. We're looking at 11 words, 12 words. It says, mass hysteria, moved from pyramids, ride the wheels so high into the sky. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, more abstract lyrics tend to go over my head. This is certainly very abstract. It's also minimal. There's not a lot of them. And so I can't even find some stuff that's a bit more grounded to help me understand the more abstract elements. If you have any thoughts on it, please let me know. But these are my thoughts on Torsh's Sky Trials. Let me know what you thought of it. Your own thoughts, opinions, perspectives, anything you'd like to add on to what I said or correct me on if need be. Put all that stuff down in the comments section. Above that in the description box, you'll find a link to Linktree. It takes you here to my takes you here to a menu. Here you can find links to my music, ways to support the channel, a link to the Discord server, and so much more. Above that, if you could, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I greatly appreciate all three of those. That wraps it up for this week. We do have an album review tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. UTC, as usual. Otherwise, we have our uh, live stream on Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. UTC. We just listen to music, chill, chat about stuff. It goes for about two hours. Very relaxed. Everyone's welcome to join. Uh, you can find links, notifications for that in your YouTube feed, your subscription feed, on Discord, on Patreon. Just go someplace where I put notifications and you'll, you'll be told when that happens every week. It's fun. Come check it out. All right, uh, until next time, remember to be critical, not cynical, of the music you listen to, and have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you choose to watch my videos. Mm -hmm.